Okay, guys, so here's, here's the second one. It is the same graph, and it says here, for the first part, to use a highlighter to sketch the speed graph over the velocity graph above. And guys, since you are just like doing this on separate paper, um, you could just kind of like, you know, redraw or like do a rough sketch. You don't need, like, yeah, you could just like re redraw it or do like a rough sketch of it, like off to the side. Um, but you do want to keep the points that I show you because, um, yeah, so I'll show you in a second. But all right, so let me do like a little preliminary um, thing here. So, so the graph of x squared minus 7 versus the absolute val the graph of the absolute value of x squared minus 7 because remember speed speed of t is equal to the absolute value of the velocity at t so we want to take the absolute we want to sketch the absolute value of this graph so if I compare the graph of x squared minus 7 to the absolute value of it, so I go math, and then you go down to abs, where is it? I think you do math. Oh, math over to number, and then absolute value, x squared minus 7. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to deselect this, so I go over to this, and I just, like, unhighlight it. Um... Sorry for the focusing issues. All right, let me just graph x squared minus 7. So there it is. All right, that's x squared minus 7. Now, let me graph on top of it, it's the graph of the absolute value of it. So I'll go back to y equals, and I'll select that one as well. Okay, and take a look at that. So what happened was that the positive parts of the graph stayed the same, but the negative part of the graph, sorry for the focusing, but the negative part of the graph got flipped over the x-axis, okay? So, um, yeah, so that's what happened there. Okay, just a second. Okay, so, um, yeah, so that's how, how the absolute value of a graph works. So if you look here, when it asks you to use a highlighter to sketch the speed graph over the velocity graph, the, we're going to keep this part, okay, that's going to be part of the speed graph. We're also going to keep, so we're keeping the positive parts. That's part of the speed graph. But then the negative part of the velocity graph needs to get reflected over the x-axis. All right? So this point here, 4, negative 3, you know, just kind of give it a rough estimate. It's going to go up here. Like, you know, just imagine reflecting it. So that'll be 4, positive 3. This 7, negative 8 will go like up here. This 10, negative 1 is going to be like there, I guess. Um, yeah, and then it's going to be like, like that. Okay, so the pink, the pink graph is the velocity graph. Or the speed, the speed graph. Okay, now... What is the speed of the particle at t equals zero? All right, so I'm using the, um, the pink graph now. So for part b, the speed at t equals zero is four. Okay, b, c. What is the speed of the particle at t equals four? Okay, so at t equals four for the speed graph, it's, it's actually like this point here on the speed graph. So that point is 4, positive 3. So 3, A, B, C. And then D, 
what is the maximum speed from t equals 0 to t equals 17? So you're looking at the speed graph like over this interval here, and the maximum speed is occurring right up here at this top point. And that top point is 7, 8. Okay, so it would be 8. Okay, now over which intervals is the speed of the particle increasing? All right, so E. Over which intervals is the speed of the particle increasing? So you're just looking at the speed graph. It's increasing from 3 to 7, union 11 to 14, all right? And then F, over which intervals is the speed of the particle decreasing? All right, so it's decreasing from 0 to 4, union 7 to 11, union 14 to 17. And I just want to point something out. Um, speed of the particle increasing, speed of the particle increasing, that is the same, remember, as speeding up. So using the speed graph, like we just did, or taking the absolute value of the velocity graph, is another way of figuring out um, this, same, this same question here. Part E, over which intervals is the speed of the particle increasing? I'm sorry for the blurriness. I'm going to focus. Okay, so this, this part E here is really the same as this, as this part E. And we should have the same answers. So from 3 to 7, 11 to 14, 3 to 7, 11 to 14. So there's two ways, really, of, of answering that same question, given the velocity graph. Okay, guys, there it is.